Now, this is his friend, Lieutenant Berry. Oh, I must say, that uniform does your credit, Mr. Gibbons. Good God! Look at Dobbs dragging his feet. Mr. Berry, at the double. At the double, Mr. Denny! Have pity, Sir Henry. There have been much so in the hot sun all day. No lectures from you, Major Lennox. Mr. Berry, 75 lashes for Dobbs tomorrow morning when he could appreciate it. Lay them on, Mr. Berry. I must protest, Sir Henry. Oh, by God, Lennox, I knew you were an old man when I took you out of retirement, but not an old woman. Speaking as a Virginian, sir, I must say is how I don't hold with flogging white men, sir. My dear Captain Leroy, you may be a loyalist, but you are still an American. You do not know the British soldier, sir. He is a brute beast in a red coat. He needs the lash. Whip him in, Mr. Berry. Must you go, Hogan? Fancy a brandy and a choice cigar? I know I hate to pass on a brandy and a choice cigar, Sir Henry, but duty calls. Servant, ma'am, gentlemen. No, come on, Jeremiah. Let's go and have a wash. Silly old sod. You must indulge him, dear boy. They say he has influence. He may even have the ear of the king. If Major Hogan makes his way up here, we've got to show him you're fit and ready for action. But I'm not fit and ready for action. I know that and you know that, but we can't let that murderous old bugger know that. Pat. Richard. Good to see you, Major Hogan. Good to see you, Richard. How's the knee? March up and down, boy. Splendid. Splendid. Good man, Richard. Up and about, what? Yes, sir. Pat's maggots did the trick, eh? <laughs> Where would the English be if it wasn't for the Irish? Me and Pat and Wellesley, three Irish heroes standing between Britannia and Bonaparte. Thank you very much, sir. Time you played your part, Richard. Wellesley's worried about you. That fella's sharp, Hogan. Fella that saved my life. Fella still alive, Hogan. Alive and kicking, sir, says I. Quick at the repartee. Damn his impertinence. Don't he know there's a war on? He wants promotion, sir, says I. Again, quick at the repartee. He looks at me down his long nose. Hogan, says he. Hogan, tell Sharp that he'll never make captain nursing his health. His very words... Give Lieutenant Sharp a drink, Pat. Best brandy, Richard. Took it from the French at Oporto. Sit down, man. Sit down. You seem edgy. Damned edgy. Good show, Sir Henry. Pretty sight. Spitty tell, Major. What do you want? Now, who said I wanted anything? Well, let's just say I want your opinion. Sir Henry apart, the South Essex, what do you make of them, man for man? They're flogged soldiers, sir. And flogging teaches a soldier only one lesson. What's that, Richard? How to turn his back. Do you know anything about art, Richard? Do you know Rubens, Botticelli? What the devil is it, sir? It's a map of Spain. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. Makes no difference either way. <laughs> now, here we have the River Tagus. And this is the town of Val de la Casa. There's a bridge here not marked. Wellesley wants us to destroy it. Can you just wave in the general direction of the French, sir? Right here, Richard. At the bridge. You want me? No. And you can't order me, sir. Bad leg wound. Doctor says so. Oh, well, that's a pity now, because you miss a chance to see Teresa. Teresa? How? Well, didn't I tell you that Teresa's been looking after the French for me at Val de la Casa? Top of that. Destroy that bridge at Val de la Casa, and mark my words, it'll be Captain Richard Sharp. I can't. 
captain. I'll drink to that. Now look, sir. The 95th are leaving for England, apart from a few that are left here. Now, if General Wellesley wants me to go into country infested by French patrols, grab a bridge and hold on to it long enough for you to blow it to kingdom come, well then, sir, I need a crack company of first-class men. My dear boy, that's exactly what Sir Arthur said. Hogan says he sharp will need a crack company. We don't have one, Sir Arthur, says I. Hogan says here, I don't care if you have to steal the best regiment in the British Army, but you find Sharp, his crack company, his very words. By God, I think he means it, Pat. A company? Oh, which one, sir? The Coldstream Guards? Oh, never. Too much to walk for. The Connacht Rangers. The Connacht Rangers? Very steady. Well, let's see. Uh, the 48th foot, sir. Marching item fight today. By God. It's not the 48th, is it? The South Essex Sharp. <laughs> John and me! Back to barracks! Riches on boots on your bloody idlers! What the blazes are they, Harper? They're horns, sir. If I told them once, I told them a thousand times not to go horn. Why, says I, if you're desperate to hold on to something, hold a bottle. Isn't that the best advice, sir? You bloody old bishop. What's it matter whether they piss the pox as long as they can fight? Is that you, Tom? Where are they? For woe unto them that rise up early in the morning and follow strong drink all day. Oh, your turn. Not now. Jezebel. Clean them up. I want them ready for the road tomorrow. Sweat them, Sergeant. Sweat them. Harris, I'll have that. God bless all here. Right, lads, fall in. We've a bit of a bridge to blow up. We ain't going anywhere, Sarge. Anywhere? Nowhere, Sarge. We ain't going to get ourselves killed. Just so Sharp can become a captain. Science. We've not been bloody well paid for bloody well six weeks. We're heading for a porto. English ships loading wine. They'll take us. I agree. 